What's up guys? Welcome to Q&A Mondays. I'm Thad Barnett. Today we're looking at the west coast of the United States and talking about the metal roofing, metal construction market in that area. Contractors, fabricators, some advice for you if you're growing a metal roofing company out there and more. So today I've got Yannick from the Sheffield sales team. Thanks for being here, Yannick. Absolutely. Thanks, Thad. Yep. So today we're talking about the West Coast, uh, California, Oregon. We've already talked about Washington State in another video. Um, we we'll, may even discuss some Nevada topics today as well. But first, I want to talk about um, the weather on the West Coast. Let's discuss what kind of weather that that region uh, typically experiences throughout the course of a year. Well, Thad, our coastal areas, of course, you know, we, we deal with corrosive salt spray. Uh, but weather across the entire Pacific Southwest generally is hot. Uh, we do have areas of heavy snow up in the mountains in the northern areas and the wet season does bring heavy wind and, and heavy rains but most famously i'd say that our region has to deal with the threat of wildfires i mean honestly that we get it all so let's talk about the types of construction in that case you know because the region does experience so many different things and being on a coast with that salt spray environment um, you know how does that affect the types of metal products that are installed in your area yeah, well, there is an incredibly robust and an incredibly diverse economy here. So it brings every kind of construction and style that you can think of. Now, on the metal roofing front, there's been a trend towards sleek, contemporary, standing seam roofing in darker, modern colors. And because of the coastline, you know, there is definitely a focus on aluminum products for their anti corrosive properties. You, know, you definitely don't want to install steel anywhere near the ocean. Now, a big trend we're also seeing is solar roofing, which ties in very nicely to our metal roofing products. On typical asphalt shingle roof, you know, you have to puncture the roof structure to fasten the solar brackets. With metal roofing, you can attach to the brackets on the panels without putting holes all over your brand new roof. Yeah, that's a great point. I mean, specifically talking about, you know, solar applications, um, you know, and especially in the state of California, there's you know, a bunch of different regulations that some other states don't have to adhere to, but you do out there. Can you talk a little bit about that? As far as new construction goes, new construction requires solar panels. When we have a lot of new construction, uh, you know, folks are thinking, how can I, how can I build not just something that's, that's beautiful, but something that will weather the storms that is class A rated. And, you know, I don't have to put all these penetrations for this, uh, for these solar brackets on my metal roof or on any roof in general. What kind of architectural styles do you see in your area? So there's a huge sprawl of older neighborhoods and those typically will feature bungalow styles. And in those areas, we're seeing so many of them being remodeled. And when they're remodeled, they're going with more modern, sleeker looks. And a lot of times that includes metal roof. Of course, you can just imagine California, maybe uh, Palo Alto or, you know, in the Hollywood Hills, you're going to have a lot of your contemporary in your modern styles in construction. So let's talk about the contractor fabricator market on the West Coast. You know, do you see a lot of uh, companies that own roll formers? Are there a lot of regional manufacturers? What does that look like? Yeah, so there's a really good mix and really that's driven by the tremendous growth that we're seeing here. There is a huge demand for contractors and fabricators in the sheet metal and metal roofing market. Now I've heard time and time again, a big challenge is just trying to catch up on the heavy workload. More folks are getting into portable roll forming because they want to make their supply chain more efficient. You know, controlling your own manufacturer, as they say, controlling your own destiny. Install what you produce uh, helps cut down lead times and helps keep things moving smoothly. Tell me a little bit more about how Sheffield can support all the different uh, weather uh, forces that you guys encounter, um, the different contractors and fabricators that you support as well. Well, specifically, we do have a very robust painting program for aluminum, uh, you know, 032, 040 coil and several thicker sizes of flat sheets. Uh, what's great about our aluminum is that it also has a coastal warranty. So it's not just aluminum with paint. There's a 25 year paint warranty and a class A fire rating on that. So, you know, you talk to contractors and fabricators every day who are installing standing seam metal roofing or running panels, uh, creating flashing trim packages for their customers. You know, what advice do you have for a company like that? Maybe I'm trying to get into metal. Maybe I'm trying to grow my metal business. What advice do you have for somebody like that? Yeah, actually, it's it's kind of perfect. Our, our program is very tailored to contractors and manufacturers in a specific and unique way. 
uh, because of the conscious decision to not fabricate panels ourselves, we are really positioned to provide our customers with support because we're not competing against them on projects. Uh, the support includes not just a very experienced technical department to help with engineering and technical questions, but an architectural department and even a commercial projects department to help customers chase down and win commercial projects. Uh, so on the front of you know folks who are out there rolling their own machines, it's great, tremendous amount of support there. But if you don't have a roll forming machine yet, maybe you don't want the burden of maintaining it, you're not ready to make that investment, uh, we can provide recommendations for regional manufacturing. Uh, we partner up with a network of vetted manufacturers and we're happy to provide you with uh, folks who can get you set up with panels and trim packages. And then what about the availability of metal roofing materials on the West Coast? I know we've talked about the growth and popularity of metal out there. Is that consistent throughout the entire area? Well, Sheffield Metals uh, over on the West Coast, we run a very tight ship. Generally, we're looking at a three-day lead time. Now, custom colors, obviously, they're going to take longer, but man, we have an all-star team out here. Our services are fantastic. We service our customers very efficiently. So give us a call. We'd love to be tested out. All right, Yannick. Well, I really appreciate the info on Sheffield Metals out in the West Coast. So thank you very much. Oh, thanks for having me, Dad. If you have any questions, comment down below or go to SheffieldMetals.com to reach out to the La Mirada branch in California. Thank you very much. Subscribe here to the Metal Roofing Channel. As always, I'm Thad Barnett. We'll catch you next time.